Oh, Kira Kota, you've just caught us at a sort of our lunch break after having been around a couple of sites on the Hipunapatoa field trip where the students look at um, various aspects of waterways and their impacts on the Lake Tiwaiwhora. And so we've just uh, looked at a uh, silver stream site which has a covenant over it and it's got a lot of riparian um, planting and the impacts of that in terms of catching sediment, the removal of nutrients, um, cleaning up those waterways through to, you know, we're here at Coast Board having lunch, the changes in water quality here and the impacts of, of sedimentation and nitrates on this. Um, stretch of one of the tributaries to Tiwai Hora and then we're going to be moving down to the lake front itself and just measuring turbidity and some of those physical factors and some of the invertebrates that uh, live within that lake and try and relate that to uh, what ends up from the tributaries into the quite polluted lake uh, and its impact. The big thing about it is that the students are doing real science. They come into the university, they get to familiar with the equipment, they learn to use the microscopes to start with. Now they get out into the field and do proper sampling and the information that they are putting together is actually going to be used. It's used each year to add some knowledge to what is being learnt about the condition of the lake and whether it's improving or getting worse and they go and look at ways that the people are trying to improve the lake. It was a lot of fun. I got to see different new things that I haven't discovered before. Kashmir, Burnside, Linwood and Lincoln are all participating.